it is that you may be doing. He asks that you stop right now. Luke once again reminds us in the 22nd chapter. Verses 31 and 32. He says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, so that he may sift you as wheat. Don't miss this. But I, Oh, Father God, we love you because you first. 
right now to bring forth your word. God, we ask you to use us in your service. We're going to give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the church say amen. If you don't mind, interwoven in the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation is a scarlet three. The story of redemption. Only as we consider that red bow do we properly understand the story of man's sin and the cross of Christ. Overlook the scarlet thread in your reading of the Bible. Ignore the fact that in your religious life, remove it from your thoughts and you have no Christianity without knowledge of the scarlet thread. We have no knowledge of a supreme thing of the Bible. We are ignorant of the full price that he paid for human redemption. We'll have a witness. But without 
the blood. The Bible will be like any other book and has no value. For the Bible plainly teaches us that there is life in the blood. Yes, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But I mean for our bodies God gave the product of the soul but for our soul he gave his blood the blood of his only begotten son. Though God's word is creative, it's a creative word. For back before the morning star, before there was a wind or where, there was the word. But when God said, let there be night, it was so. When God said, let the water separate from the dry land, it was so. When God said, let the sun appear, the moon and the stars, it was so. But when it came down to saving man, it took more than the word. It took the blood of our only begotten Son. The reason why, Galilee, the Lord must demand blood for the atonement of sin lies in the very nature of sin. What you mean, Governor? Since God is perfectly and impenetrably holy, sin can never be passed over without satisfaction. Do I have witness? You know what Grandma said, if justice had flown the land. And since sin, sin is rebellion against an infinite God and the highest being, only the greatest and the highest price can be accepted for the atonement of sin. Do I have some evidence today? Sin, Galilee, is terrible. Sin is terrible. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Sin. Sin scores, but it solves. Sin breaks, but it aches. Sin afflicts, but sin Then sin scatters. Sin grips, but sin strips. Sin burns, and then it burns. Do I have a witness in here? Sin doom, but sin comes soon. Do I have a witness in here today? Sin chokes. But it holds. Do I have a witness here? Sin mutilates and it alienates. Sin offends, but then sin being. Sin blocks, but sin shocks. Sin blinds, but sin 
wine. Sin punishes. But then sin punishes. Sin mars. But then it bars. Sin, sin chases. But also sin disgraces. Sin holds. But then sin Then sin curses. Do I have a written? The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. The only through the blood of that gift, the only through the blood of God's only Son, today our, our sins have been. You'll have a witness here. And, and every way, every way before the coming of Jesus Christ, the Immaculate Son of God, was blood demanded for the atonement of sin. Y'all remember when Adam and Eve fell in Eden's God, forced to take residence outside the God. Now they began to raise a family. Y'all remember, they had two sons, Cain and Abel. They were born there in the home. One day called, God called for offering of these two young men. Abel slew a lamb, brought it to God, and God accepted. Cain, not seeing the need of an offering for them, but he bought vegetables. God, what happened? God refused Cain's offer. Told him to go back, do it right. It would be accepted, but Cain refused. God therefore rejected him. Yes, God lay down of those who think that coming to God is the important thing, no matter how you come. But when I, it is not so. One can come to God in the wrong way. And I came to Jesus just, oh, I know, just there. Yeah. God required that we come only by the way of the blood. Do I have a witness here? For without the shedding of blood, there is no remission for sin. Can I get a witness in this place? If you come down to the flesh pots of Egypt, there you will find that Pharaoh, God remember Pharaoh, he oppressed the children of Israel. Moses told Pharaoh that God had sent him to tell you to let my people go. But for nine successful times, Pharaoh hard was hard. Is that right? God then told Moses to return to Israel, tell them to slay a lamb. Put the blood upon the door. Do I have a witness there? For God had decreed that the angel of death. Do I have a witness here? We ride that angel put in a house. If the blood wasn't on the doorpost, the death angel would come in and take the first bowl. The angel that night blew his icy breath against the faces. The blood on the doorpost saved the Israelites. If I tell you that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. The years rushed on, and then one day, the 
children of Israel were on their way to the promised land. One particular day became coming on each Israelite's calendar. It was called the Day of Atonement. Do I have a witness to hear today? And daily on this day, the high priest would gather all of the people in the tabernacle. They would pray their sins upon the land. He would then sever the juggler vein, catch the blood in a bowl, enter into a small compartment that they call the Holy of Holies. Do I have a witness here? A thick curtain separated him from the people who waited on the outside with the bated breath to see if the sacrifice would be accepted. Do I have a witness here? After that, the high priest would come out to the waiting multitude and raise his hand up high in the air and cry out with a loud voice in the ears. Do I have a witness here? And I'll tell you again, without the shedding of blood, there no remission of sin. But because the Hebrews had to return to year after year repeat the same process, because it was man who had sinned originally, not an animal. They later came and understand that the blood of the bullet was not enough. Blood of the dove, the lamb, or the animal was not enough. This lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. It took the blood of God's Son to redeem an alone man of his sins. For the Lamb of God take away the sin of the whole world. Salvation became universal. You see, the only blood that could redeem man was the blood of God's Son. The blood of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob would not suffice because their blood streams. Can I put you there? Their blood streams were polluted. Do I have a witness? And, and that would have been like the blind leading the blind. So I have a witness here. So not only now, only God's blood could suffice because his blood was the only blood that was not polluted with sin. Hmm? You see, the only blood that could redeem man was the blood of God's Son, the blood of God, so then the problem come. Hmm. God had a problem that God was faced with. How can I get my son had who had pure blood? How can I remember that? That's the only blood of man who was free from sin. Do I have a witness in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, how can I get him into the world, this same world that man get in and of the world? And that was to be born of all. How can I do it? God tell me. Well, yet, when he got here, he had to be free from sin. 
But he had all of our sins on him. Do I have a witness? He had to rise for salvation of those who were in sin. And yet himself had to be free from sin. Spot. A wrinkle. A blemish. My God, what a problem. Do I have a wrinkle? Now, watch this. To the The way that God got Jesus here through flesh that was sinful and in flesh that was sinful, but yet a blood that was free from sin. Mm. According to the proven biological facts. Medical science, an unborn baby is not dependent, listen to this, on its mother for the development of its blood system. Do I have a witness? All the while, listen to this now. Check me. I know some of y'all going to check me when you get home. But remember that, that, that. According to the proven biologists, those who the unborn baby is not dependent upon the mother for the development of its blood system. All while, listen to this, the baby is growing and developing in the womb of the mother. Not one single of blood ever passes from the mother to the child. The have a witness. All the blood which is formed in the embryo, the fetus of the woman as the result of the pregnancy is formed by itself. And the blood which enters the baby's bloodstream that is by itself develops a result from the sperm that the man dropped into the womb. Preacher, amazingly, all the nutrition, the elements such as proteins, fats, carbohydrates, salts, minerals, and even antibodies. Pass freely from the mother to the child. But not one drop of blood. Good job. Also, the waste products of the child's metabolism is passed back from the child to the mother. The circulatory system, the strange biological mystery of this transporting of the various elements from the infant to the mother, from the mother to the infant, but not, not one drop of blood. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the blood that the infant received only comes from the development of the male sperm. Huh? And you know blood is life. Is that right? So then life can only be given by the male whose sperm give off the blood. Look, watch this. I don't mean no harm. But woman's it takes a man to have a witness. And you may not like me, but God fixed it that way. Man got his sperm into a woman. The male, and, and you know, blood is life. 
is lies in the blood. Nothing that, that, that will confirm the fact that the bloodline runs through the male and not the female. An old hen may sit on an unfertilized egg months, there will be no baby chicks. Do I have a win? But now y'all live for rooster. Fertilize the egg. And today, you'll see little red stripes coming in the shell. That means that there is lies. Y'all take me out and get your sign to go with me. Do I have a witness here? After a while, a baby chick will show up. You see, every few hours after the rooster has fertilized the egg, when you see little random streaks coming down the egg, and after a while, the egg will show up. Now, in this biologically a mystery, a phenomenon, can we see how God had destined for his own son, Jesus, to get into the world without any sinful blood. What you mean, girl? Because the bloodline ran through the man. This, this was the only way God had to produce a sinless son. They pick up 
the sails got and thus discharged your waste through your kidneys, through your skin, through your bowels, and through your lungs. This is a very definite one of the mysterious functions of the blood. How is it that it can carry nourishment in various parts of the body? And at the same time, carry the body waste out of the body. Would it be a very wonderful discovery if the city could devise a way to transport fresh produce into the city in the same truck and haul the garbage out without one being contaminated? Just as essential as the blood is for our body. So essential is the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ to us. The body of Christ. For just as the blood supplies food element for nourishment, and life being simulated carrying off the waste product and poison to a way for my body due to metabolism. So is the blood of Jesus. Every believer, the only source of life, only support and sustain life, but also at the same time in the blood of one who keeps cleanses us. He cleanses blood, cleanses us day by day. For the scripture says the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Then, I get ready to lead you. Then within the blood platform there, is also white corpuscles. These white corpuscles are somewhat larger than the red, but they also feel numbers. White corpuscles, numbers of about 7,000 per cubic millimeter. Whereas the red corpuscles have a count of about four to five million. But when there is an infection, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you cut your hand, do I have a witness here? And when you cut your hand, the infection anywhere in your body, your body attacks the enemy of germs. The news of the flash get back to the camp of white cars. They go right where the cook is. And you ever notice that when your hands start healing up, after a while, it, 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 it causes that cut to have a scab. That scab causes healing. Do I have a witness? Listen, if you will, go quietly. And I'm trying to get ready to close. Let's go quietly to hell. Let's look at what happened in guessing. See Jesus there, drops of blood. Speaking down his face. Blood oozing from his body. Every poor, like a weed gate that will stay, won't stay shut. Open blood and blood came out. Oh, what a strange sweat. He our Savior. It's sweating blood. Do I have a witness here?
Again, sweat comes down. Follow him as he went to Pilate's court. Look at him, the merciless mockery. They put upon him a purple robe. The unmatched purity. They put a crown of thorns upon his brow and pressed it down. Regard not the nerves that tears and arteries and their cheeks. They stuck nails in his hand. They took nails in his feet. Yes, sir. Do I have a witness here? I don't know. As he sit there, hanging there on the cross. Uh -huh. I, I, Reverend, I don't know what type of blood Jesus had. Might have been an A. Might have been an AB. Uh -huh. It might be an O. Yeah. I don't know what type of blood that he had, but I heard Andre Crouch said that the blood that Jesus shed for me yeah. way back on Calvary, right. the blood. Yeah, give me strength from day to day. One thing, I, I don't know what type it was, but I do know one thing. The songwriter said, it will never. It will never lose its power. I heard him saying, it will, it reaches the highest mountain. It flowed from the lowest that the blood that gave me strength from day to day. It will never lose its power. Do I have a witness here? I, I heard him say it soothes my doubts and it comes to my fears and it dies. The blood gives me strength from day to day. It will never, I said it will never, lose its power. Do I have to witness here? I heard a number somebody say, he said, there is a fountain filled with blood from from the manual back. Sinners plunge beneath the flood and lose all the guilty stain. Lose all, I said, lose all his guilty stain. Do I have a witness here today? Aren't you glad it was the blood that signed my name? It was the blood. Look, can't lose 
Amen. Amen. Congratulations, Johnson. And uh, good luck to you as you enter and embark upon this journey of going to uh, the University of Alabama at Birmingham, where we like to say no blazers. We thank God for each of you this morning. Um, one announcement, and I'm going, I'm going to need a little help remembering the details, but uh, on the church Facebook page, it was posted that uh, the information regarding COVID testing to be done here at Galilee on August 18th. Is that right? August 19th. From 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on August 19th, uh, please look at the information that is posted on the Facebook page because I think that you have to call and make an appointment. So be sure that you check out the details of that, but uh, there will be COVID testing here at the Galilee Church August 19th from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Again, take a look at the details that's posted on the Facebook page, and we will be making other announcements leading up to it, but I wanted to make sure that you have the information. If you don't have insurance, come on anyway. It's free testing. Also, be reminded, if you have your um, tithes and offerings, make sure that we uh, either send those in or if you're here, uh, be sure to get those to uh, uh, Deacon Houston this morning. God bless you. Let us all stand. Let's pray. Dear gracious and eternal master, we thank you for yet another day. Another day that wasn't promised to us, Father God, but you've been so good to you restored. A new day that was never promised, but we thank you for the many blessings and mercies that you've given us. Father God, we thank you for all that has been said and done on this day. And Father God, we thank you for the blood. The blood that you shed more than 2,000 years ago, Father God, that still has its power. Father God, we ask and pray that you would keep us in your blood, Father. Keep us covered in your blood. Now as we prepare to leave this place, but never your presence or your grace, go before us so that we may continue to follow after. We will be so very careful to give you all of the God, all of the glory, and all of your blessings. These and many more blessings we ask your Son, Jesus' name we pray. And all the saints said, Amen. Amen. Amen.